As many of y'all may know, we started a successful music marketing agency has helped many artists blow up, have great moments, millions, actually legitimately billions of streams. It's not even a joke when we say that. And in this episode, we want to unveil behind the curtains of music marketing agencies and why a lot of artists end up down bad when they deal with these agencies. <sighs> I'm Brandman Man Sean. And I'm Corey. And this is yet another episode of No Labels Necessary. All right, Corey, I got a clip for you, brother. Oh, man. Okay. There is a, a young man <laughs> that has a music marketing agency, and he's he bared it all. He gave a lot of the inside of what he's doing with artists. And shout out to David Shans, Social Proof Podcast, for doing this sit down, because this is something that we see as agency owners, and we know what's going on, but we can't save everybody. Can't save everybody. So we're going to break down a lot that y'all need to understand about these agencies, but I think y'all need to hear really what's going on with, I'll just say one of these guys, and then, you know, we'll, I'll let him talk for himself. I'm paying $1,000 a month, and I get all the stuff on the sheet, yes. right? No, yes. Magazine, EPK all. spread for 24, networking events, product placement, social media promotion, Who's promoting it on social my business on social media when I give you this thousand dollars a month? Who? Yeah. Us. I mean, ready to go records. If we post this How many followers you got? Me? I have about twenty five hundred. All right. Oh man. All right. So <laughs> he just named an array of sort uh Bunch of services. Of yeah. Social media promotion, PR, like five things. Product placements. Product we say what place? Product placements. Product placements, all for a thousand dollars a month. Then he asked him, how many followers do you have? 2,500. Now, I want to say, having 2,500 followers as a service company isn't the worst thing no. because your job is not to promote yourself on social media, even though you can use that to gain clients. It's not necessarily so because a lot of like dumb people think, oh, man, how is this dude going to be popping? Because you know he don't have any followers. Yeah. But then on the other end, they'll get finessed by people who got a lot of followers and are doing bad business because they only focus on having followers. Yep. So I do want to say that right there before we go further in here. However, let this thing roll. <laughs> but the so social media promotion means you're promoting it on your page. Yeah. Okay. Now that's where he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you gonna promote my stuff as a part of your thousand dollars on my on your page that only has twenty five hundred? All right, now that's wild. Let's keep this going. But also, what I get for this thousand dollars a month: top level endorsers and top level influencers. Top level. The confidence in which you repeated that. I'm gonna sign up for your program. I just need to know who are the influencers you're gonna. For one, you start with Pilu. If you want to, Pilu. Pilu, that's my artist name. That's for you, one. Jeffrey. You're sitting with the guy, but um, that's for one. Um, you know, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I can't wait, do this. I, this is not a no, 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 because this is for those of y'all who are just listening. When he says, "I don't want to talk about this," by the way, this is a sit down between David Shans and I'll just call him P. Lou, his artist <laughs> name, and he is talking through his business plan. And David is basically giving him commentary and helping him with his business plan. So he's revealing all this stuff, saying. Because I think I can run a good business providing these services. Um, yeah, so that gives you context of what's going on right here. He's, it's almost kind of like Shark Tank style, mm -hmm. giving out my business model. I very rarely tell people stuff isn't going to work. Jeff, um, let's, talk, let's talk about something else. So we have, what I'm saying, outside of myself. to Your scam. No, you cannot. Of, you cannot provide all this stuff for a thousand dollars a month. You can't. Yes, I can. Over a course of twelve months, if I'm gonna do no, it, no, you month, can't, yes, bro. That's twelve thousand dollars. A thousand dollars a month. That's twelve thousand dollars. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. This is the biggest, most helpful thing for most of y'all artists. I know we get watched by some artists that are pretty far along, executives, and that uh, y'all are successful. Y'all, y'all know what's going on and what's popping, and y'all are thinking correctly. But for those of y'all who are starting up. And learning your way through business and just don't have enough experience to be enticed by these too good to be true deals. The easiest way to realize if something's a scam or not is, is this actually possible for this amount of money? And I know you don't have context. So I'm going to give you a little bit of framework because I remember 
So I told you, I already told you a deal hit me up. A dude hit me up recently about a deal, a record label deal. Because I tell people, go ahead and DM me or whatever. I'll give you my commentary on a, if, a, if a deal is scam or not. And if it's a real deal and what the, your, your terms could or should look like. But in this particular case, I remember a guy basically breaking down a deal. It was a marketing agency for some services. And I said, yo, bro. For this amount of money, it might have been like, I don't know, like $200 running ads and influence. It was something crazy. I was like, there's only a couple of things that can come from it. One, this is just straight scam. They're going to take your money. Two, they might not be scamming, but they might be really, they got to be really bad at their job because that's too little money Mm -hmm. to pay because I know the labor that goes into that. Mm -hmm. And boy, I will not do that job for that much amount of money because I could barely live off of that. It takes mm-hmm. way too much time. I can only do but so many clients for that amount of labor. Yep. Right? Yep. And I remember, and this is how legitimate this is. Remember, we have our program where we would be helping other marketers, other agencies build out their agencies. One of the guys I was talking with on a call who was interviewing and be in that, that program, he was doing a very good job. Like running ads, going crazy, but his price was so low. I was like, "Bro, like, how are you living off of this?" And he said, "You have like two partners or whatever." I instantly knew all of his problems because I was like, "It's impossible <laughs> for you to do this. You're actually dope, but it's impossible for you to charge this price and actually, you know, be able to live off of this long enough. You need to up your prices." So again, that goes to show y'all. Like even when somebody wants to do it for the low, they had because in this case he was just like an artist almost and uh, scared to have a conversation about charging people more money, and he didn't want to make that jump. But like, like <laughs> even somebody who wants to do it good, I mean do good or charge people as little as possible, it's actually impossible to do certain things at scale for the low. And yeah. that's why people charge for their services. Yeah, and that's why I was looking at looking at this guy's situation because I, I tried to give him benefit of the doubt as as he was going through it, and I was like, all right, well, outside of the social media promotion, most of these services are more so like relationship based services. Like product mm-hmm. placement is more relationship thing. Where he's like giving them access to like twenty networking events or something mm-hmm. is a relationship thing. Yeah, most of the stuff he said is something that like the right person can come along and justify him by saying like if he's really that guy, he could pull a lot of these strings for you. You know what I'm saying in that price range. But then just like you said, we know that if there was a guy that could pull a lot of those strings, he would not be charging that. Like he'd be charging easily probably at least five k. You know what I'm saying because it's worth more. Yeah, it's worth more. Like the the the. Product placement and networking events alone. I mean, the networking events alone is already worth like a thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, you tell me I can I can put you in twenty um, good rooms for a thousand dollars. Like actual, like actual rooms? good yeah. rooms. Yeah, that would be that would, right. That would so that would, would make it suspicious. He's like, damn, this is the the value has already been hit here. You know what I'm saying? And then I could tell myself, yo, this is such a great guy. He's trying to give me tens of thousand dollars worth of value, saying for a thousand dollars, but in Business and in music specifically, very rare is that the case. Very, very rare. <laughs> but here it is, and, and this is a part of the issue too. Y'all call people scammers. Oh, and that was part of my point. This guy who understands business, all right, not in the music space. Yeah, he ain't even music. Yeah, he just heard this. Oh, you got to be a scammer, bro. Yeah, it's no way. Like, obviously, dude thinks he's doing right. But he's basically saying there's no way to do this without scamming because it's not feasible from a business standpoint. So when we talk about a lot of the stuff that we talk about and then artists would be like, oh, they they just only want to hear the direct. Should I check this box, just this box and that box? My frustration is it's like, bro, you're trying to stay stupid. You're trying to get further along and stay stupid. And if you get further along and stay stupid, you're just going to make an even bigger mistake. But like we're trying to help you understand how do you see the game? How do you think so you can apply to different situations no matter where you are. So if you don't anal- can't understand a lick, right, then you're going to get licked. Yeah. You know what I mean? And no, and that applies at every single level. Yeah, you might now have a million dollars in a bank, but now you're dealing with somebody else and they're coming on, along with this this tech opportunity or this, uh, you know, uh, what is a hedge fund opportunity or something like that. And you don't understand that business and what makes sense for those numbers. 
and you don't realize, oh, wait, no, if you understand just a little bit, you would know this isn't possible for this amount in this way. It's a very repeatable and <laughs> like mentality and, under, and way of thinking. But the cool thing about it, and I think the most important lesson people should understand, which is unfortunate, is a lot of these people that are doing this bad business aren't necessarily scammers. They're people who just don't understand how to do business, mm -hmm. right? No different than we'll have customers who don't know how to be customers. <laughs> they, yeah. they don't know how to do business. They'll be frustrated and, and they'll be so so afraid they don't, instead of having a conversation to get a better understanding, they'll just be afraid for all their, of all their experiences with scammers and just assume I'm scammed, right? All oh, these guys are scamming. It's like, bro, if you just email me, I would tell you, if you look at the bottom of the sheet, there's a link right there. You know what I mean? Or you already have access to it. That was sent to you yesterday. I'm just making up a scenario because it mm -hmm. has been that easy, but we know it comes from People Damn having people all like these, yeah. yeah, scammer experiences is really real out here. But all these scammers are not scamming you. A lot of them are just bad at business. Let me take a quick second to say, if you're looking for a music distributor that cares about educating their artists so they can get in a better position, you should check out Two Loss because every single Monday they have office hours where they bring on dope people in the industry to hop on calls, give artists insights on the future of the music industry and answer some of the questions they have going on in their personal careers. So if you aren't a user of Two Loss or just wanna have a little bit more information about them, Go to Two Lost on Instagram. That's T O O L O S T, Two Lost on Instagram, and it'll take you to everything you need to see, inform you about the sessions and more. Back to this episode. Yeah, because even like looking at his model, at first I was like, man, maybe this was meant to be like a yearly model. Like, oh, mm -hmm. I'll get you like you know, all this stuff over the course of a year. I was like, well, that's a lot more realistic. But then I was like, well, no, because he's promising high level influences. And if he really goes and get a real high level influence. I mean, he's going to kill like a quarter of the budget just off of something like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, then that would make it to like, you said, it's not even worth it at this point mm -hmm. to do it. You know? So yeah, it's a lot of red flags in here. Like a, a lot of them that we're able to see just because like you said, like we're, we're working behind the scenes, but I mean, to your point, bro, he called that shit without being the music. You know what I'm saying? But in his defense too, is also, I think because the influencer side of it was such a, the influencer side is what made it a red flag. Like yeah. it was just like the networking events, Product placement is vague enough that like yeah you could you yeah you could, somebody could be mad at that but you could yeah exactly you could you could justify it, but it's like influencer marketing typically has a price attached mm -hmm. to it you know what I'm saying and you know I, what he also lost him was high level influence because if it'd been like oh I'm gonna get you on some influences yeah maybe you could have got by but it's like I'm I'm telling you I'm gonna get you you know macro or higher influences for a thousand a month but it's like a thousand a month would even get them to send you a draft, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like most of the ones at that level. Again, so, bro. you know, it's, 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 it's really important, like Sean said, as you kind of like walk through these things, or even as you're on, you know, meetings with different service providers that you trust and you know they're doing good work, like to pay real close attention to some of those minute details and things that they talk about that you feel like doesn't matter. Cause those will be the little things that help you point out like a, a scammer, you know what I'm saying? Like, or somebody, not, like you said, not even necessarily a scammer, but Someone that may be um, overpromising. Overpromising. Yeah. Because uh, everybody think that they need to overpromise because they're afraid and they're just trying to get the deal, whatever. But that goes, again, artists wonder, why do I need to understand business? Like, this is why. Yeah. So you can protect yourself. It's, it's, it's that simple. It's not all about, like, you need to be the goat of making great deals and building out operations. It's not even all that. It's just at least understanding, like, the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. Or else you'll end up in a situation like this, man. Uh, or you'll end up starting a situation and go about it the wrong way, just like he is. Because if y'all you didn't catch this, he is an artist as well. He is an artist. Y'all want to blame everything on the executives? Look, there's plenty of artists doing artists wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, start it. But again, you know, like I said, it might not be purposeful in, the, in this situation. He's on this platform offering this up, you know? So he, he thinks that he's doing something right. But let's let's see if we finish the clip. I don't know if it finished out already. Let's see what's up. You can't. Everybody can. I'm okay, yeah, he yeah. did finish. <laughs> Let me make that. Uh, there's actually another big statement, too, I think, on this um, that comes from also understanding the business. So these high influencers, mm -hmm. level influencers, and all a lot of things he offered. He said, wait, no. I th you, you, this is a scam, bro. You, it's no way you can offer this for $1,000. And then his response was, $1,000 a month. Like over a year, twelve thousand dollars. Yes, you can. Anybody can. 
And here goes my rebuttal to that again. You know what, bro? $12,000 is a decent amount of money. But splitting it up over a year, not possible to do that stuff. It would be more likely <laughs> to do that stuff in one chunk of $12,000 being spent, making some deals work. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Splitting some things up is more possible than splitting it up over a year. And a lot of times, you know, Corey, I'm, I'm, I'm having an epiphany, bro. I think you know how we'll have like a form you sign up for the agency, you want services and, you know, we might have a call with you and there'll be people that look at the fact that we have X number of dollars as a limitation or we'll just ask them what their budget is and they'll be like, oh, it's $10,000. But then when you get on a phone call with them and it'll be like, oh, it's $10,000 over 12 months. Mm-hmm. I'm realizing that people don't understand that's not the same. Mm-hmm. They think, no, $10,000 is $10,000. That's a big amount of money. It's like, no, you don't understand. And I have all kind of conversations with artists. I'm like, yo, bro, save your money. People say, oh, Sean, I got this amount of money. Like, even, And it's not even necessarily applying to work with us or anything like that. And like, what should I do with it? What you should do is not spend that money. <laughs> Wait till you have more stacked up and then apply it to the right moment so you yeah. have more flexibility and you can get more out of it than just nickel and diamond, throwing pennies in the lake over and over again. It's like, wait till you have a boulder to drop in the pond and then everything splashes and goes crazy. Yeah. That's what you need to need to wait for. That number still might end up being you having three thousand dollars. You know, you might it might be hard for you to get to ten thousand or whatever, but that might end up being you having three thousand dollars versus trying to put in a hundred dollars. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? Yeah. Like the mentality is I'm Trying to spread this shit out over time that way is not effective, and I think this this video makes me think made me realize because I would I'd be like man people trying to finesse us that's how I always saw it personally it's like bro you trying to finesse me you just trying to get in this conversation you said you had five k just so we can start talking and now you're like oh yeah but it's over six months like oh you just tried to finesse me but now I realize that some people actually think that that is the same thing. So, yeah, bro. you know. The, the context is there because even a $1,000, but a $1,000 campaign over three days, it's a pretty good campaign. $1,000 over two months, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, I'm not, not touching that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's it's all very, very relative <laughs> in that way. I'm glad you said it like that, too. Uh, but, yeah, that's that's it. Hopefully this is helpful. And y'all should drop some comments, man. Y'all and, and y'all know some scammers out there, man. You know what I mean? Like call them out and no, but don't be don't be afraid, man. Send them this video and say, they, "Bro, I don't know if you're scamming, but I want to think the best of individuals." So just in case, you should be aware that I know <laughs> that I know, or that you just need a little bit more education on why your business is not what you think it is, man. Yeah, that is a good point that you made. That I don't want to go over people's heads. Sometimes people aren't trying to scam you; they are just stupid. And it really is a simple, like I've seen scams. I'm like, oh, this person genuinely doesn't know anybody. Mm-hmm. Like, you can only feel so bad. So don't let it go over your head, man. There are scammers and they're just idiots. They're, and they're the people who are really <laughs> great at marketing and they're horrible at customer service yeah. and operations. They forget that, oh, yeah, I got to give them the product. And like, oh, I forgot about that. And then I they talk to them. Yeah. Like, I didn't expect <laughs> it to go that go this big. And that's a legitimate thing that many businesses, even quality businesses, go through sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I'm growing faster than I thought I would. Now I got to figure out my operations because I haven't had to fulfill at this level. And then it messes mm-hmm. up your ability for customer service or um, your product quality for a period of time. That's a part of natural business. But uh, the biggest thing about, uh, you know, to solve for that, for those of y'all who do have business, businesses or you know even artists and how you handle yourself is the communication mm-hmm. you know what i mean if you can communicate that yo man things aren't right and let people know where you are sometimes that might end up with somebody leaving because mm-hmm. it's like yo bro like well i got a project let's say from an agency standpoint yeah it's like all right but well, i got a project coming out tomorrow and i get it and I, i'm not hating on you for this moment but hey bro i might need my money back because i need to like cap now i'm in the middle of a moment but that doesn't mean those people won't come back. People have come back. Yep. Like in many situations where we'll say, hey, nah, like things aren't right or this didn't work out, da 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 da. And then you'll have some people who, eh, they might look at you bad. But then you'll have those people in the middle again that'll kind of work with you and try to figure some things out. And two of those categories, two thirds of those categories are pretty solid. Yeah. That's so, you know, 60% hit rate over. A zero percent 
of it all falls down is yeah. pretty damn great. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, look at it that way. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, y'all let us know what y'all think. This is yet another episode of No Labels Necessary Podcast. I'm Brand Man Sean. And I'm Corey. And we out. Peace. Appreciate you for watching. If you like content like this, you'll love seeing our music marketing strategies that we use as an agency to actually blow up artists to millions and even billions of streams that are available for free at nolabelsnecessary.com. And the cool part about it that's going to really make you love it is we don't have to be all entertaining and add all this fluff just to get some views that we do on YouTube. We get straight to the information. There's play by play and courses that give you a breakdown of every step that you should do to get success. And you have the ability to have communication with us. We get on live talks, a lot of cool things for members, and it's free just to hop in. So check it out right now at nolabelsnecessary.com.